Hi everyone. In a short video, I'm going to show you one of the really interesting custom visual that we have uh, that recently added to the panel. The name is a K influencer that use uh, behind the scene use lots of um, interesting algorithm like decision tree and a regression algorithm to probe out the better inside of your data. In this video, you will see that how we can actually can use it. Okay, I'm going to introduce a new custom. Uh, a new visual, not a custom visual, but a visual that we have in visualization panel. Uh, first of all, make sure you have a recent Power BI version. And after that, you need to go to the file options and option and setting. And under the option, if you click, go to the Power BI uh, preview feature and choose the key influencer visual from there and push the OK button, close your Power BI, the stop and reopen it, you should see that visual. So I'm going to show you that how this visual works. So we need a data. I'm going to fetch a data from here. So I need a data about concrete. So I'm going to show you that how this visual can help me to do uh, some uh, visualization and get some more analytics on my data. So I'm going through that loading the data set so if you want to look at the data set i will uh, actually this is about 1000 rows and as you see here it has uh, information about the strength of the concrete about the how many days we put that concrete actually get in the shape uh, the amount of the fine egg the you know, super plastic water, no amount of the ash and cement and many things more actually you can see here. So my aim is that how much of uh, actually all of these components we should have. So we actually, so we have a higher increased strength of the uh, concrete. So let's look at the visual. So visual has two parts, analyze and explain one. So I'm going to analyze the strength of the concrete. So this is a concrete strength. And I'm interested to kind of explain by other things. But you see that uh, you, we get a small message here that the strength has more than 10 unique value, which is correct. This is a continuous variable, it's not a group variable, and that's the impact on the quality. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on format here, and under the analyze, you see that we have the option for continuous variable or categorical variable. So I choose the continuous variable for that one, and here now the error gone. And you see that one influence and strength to increase or decrease of uh, actually the strength of concrete. So back here, I want this to be explained by age of ash, cement, and all other one. So it actually is created an interesting chart for me. So here, as you see, we have a message that is a kind of explanation of that. What influence and strength to increase or decrease? So as you see that, if we increase the amount of the cement uh, actually to 100 uh, four, we have the strength will be increased that and also the average of the in, uh, strength increased by so if you add for example so me, that means that 10 percent will be increased so a cement increase the strength also increase so for example a growing cement by 100 leads on average to 10 unit growing strength so kind of the 10 percent impact on the increasing of the strength Look at the other one. The other one is the age. That means that's how many days we put the concrete to things. So it says that if we, again, you can click on that and see the explanation. A grow in age by 33 days can average to about 70 unit growing strength. So it's kind of the analysis and shows what have more impact on that. And also if you click on each of them, you're able to see a chart that shows the average of the strength and the, for example, cement. And it shows the, actually a, a scatter chart for you and the line that shows the trend. From this scatter chart, we can see that is actually there is a relationship between cement and the other, or for example, for the age is not that much. Uh, 
uh, the slag if we increase you see that is kind of the we have a different one and the rest also you can analyze decrease so uh, again if you decrease the amount it has more impact and the other so this is the one tab we have here we are going to look at the another part uh, that is top segment so before i'm moving that here i should say that they use a uh, regression algorithm here so the behind the scene there are actually uh, some analytics and algorithm that apply to these data some regression algorithms that actually shows this to you we have another section here that is top segment so that means that what is the top actually cluster and group that we have here so we are going to analyze when the strength is high so when is high is actually we have one two three four five actually different segments so this segment segment one has more uh, item on that so i'm click on that to see a more detail on that so it says that in segment one the average strength is actually 63 this is uh, 20 unit higher than overall average in other segment and you see that it provides some uh, kind of some number that the age is normally is 21 cement is greater than and the water is less than than or equal that one so so you can kind of have a, some analysis for the people who knows the concepts uh, of the data science i should say that behind the scene is exactly the rule that we have in decision tree so in decision tree we are able to see that uh, for example for a specific we have different branches so this is the descriptive analysis on that branches so if you want to achieve about the same uh, strength of 63 or 64 your age it should be greater than 21 cement greater than this amount and water less than that Again, we have different analysis and you see that the variable is different for some of them. For example, here we have a slag, but here we don't have that one. So exactly this is the same concept of decision tree behind that. So these provide a descriptive analysis of what uh, we can do. And if you want to achieve this amount of strength, what we should do, or if we achieve this one, what we should do about that to back to the previous page you just need to close it and you come up with here so that's a really good one and also you can uh, have a slicer for that so kind of impact on that so you can uh, change the age and the others so for example if i I'm not sure about that and I want to replace it with a strength. So for example, you just want to analyze the strength for a specific length. You can have it that one here and see that how it's changed. So it's interactive with other visuals and it's really interesting. Uh, also, this is for the continuous variable. I can show you another model in a different tab that you can apply that one on uh, other data set i'm going to apply it on the cancer data set that's actually a, a data set from laboratory results so it has idea of the patient their diagnosis whether they are benign or malignant and some uh, measurement of cancer cells so uh, this is not a continuous variable i'm going to analyze people benign or malignant so previously we just analyze a continuous variable now you are going to analyze a categorical variable see that how it works so same as that one and here i should find the diagnosis column to analyze and i choosing some of them not all of them because that's become so big i choose some of them to analyze so it's actually it's kind of you can see that how it's changed by different things again you can have it so i uh, just add more so we can have a holistic view of what we have here definitely for the analyze we prefer to have fewer kind of uh, things rather than having that much information is not a really good one but still i just want to show you that how it works so it's actually it's finds that one so you can see and see the changes happen here and you can look at and become benign or malignant so that's also kind of the 
things and also you can find the top segment of for both of them here okay so these are the scenarios that we have i hope that you can apply this custom visual this visual not custom visual from here and use it that's a really interesting one thank you for watching this video